What is up Transformer Ninjas? Gajo here again with another Transformers review. This time I am doing Reveal the Shield Special Ops Jazz. As you can tell he is sweet. Fuck yeah. Jazz is probably one of my favorite characters next to Optimus Prime. I mean he is like so sweet. And as you can tell I actually did some custom work to him already. I painted in his grill. You can't really see it that well, but it's very textured and detailed because I did a couple different layers of silvers and grays and mixed a bunch of different colors and stuff, but I don't want to get too much into that because he's not really done. I kind of just painted this a gray, like an aluminum color. I don't know if you can tell, but I redid the exhaust too, so he has some exhausts down here. Didn't finish the taillights or anything yet, but uh, I'll get to that later. No big deal. But uh, the one feature that I absolutely love about this toy, because this made me think, wow, they actually spent some time making this toy this time around, is the speakers that are within. And you, and you can adjust them and move them however you want it to display, but I mean, for the most part, it, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, they don't look exactly like the ones in the cartoon, but I mean, you know, it looks really sweet considering that that was one of his features, and they didn't have to add those into the car, but they did anyway because that was <coughs> part of his character, so they, I mean, basically they did it, so... Well, let's transform him real quick. He's really easy to transform. He mostly, I mean, he doesn't transform G1 style because of the extra robot parts, but, I mean, he's super quick and easy to transform. Pull his legs out, flip his feet down, but make sure when you pull his legs out, pull them all the way out, and this little panel will flip up. And if you don't mess it up, because <laughs> my heel gets caught in there sometimes. Okay, there, see. Put that, down. Put that back. And it'll go down like that. This part right here. And fill this all up. And Jazz, is, Jazz doesn't stand like normal, uh, the Transformers. His feet are actually at an angle, so he's supposed to kind of like stand with his legs strafed out, so it's kind of nice. You just fold out his arms like that. Fold him to the side, and it'll pop his gun out. Oh, no. But then that'll all open up, and then you just flip him, reveal his head. And then his arms will rotate. As you can tell, it's kind of like hard to get him all the way transformed right away because his his legs move and his chest doesn't stick because it just kind of flops up and down. They didn't really figure like they should have made a way to have that peg in way better, but you know it doesn't bother me that much because it does kind of stay in for the most part for me. I don't have to fudge with it too much. You can keep the speakers off or you can have them on. That doesn't don't really matter. And his gun kind of fell. And his gun transforms. Just a quick little. And that'll fit in his hands. There you have it. It's Battle Ops Jazz. He's a pretty cool character. I like him. I definitely had to pick him up for sure. Uh, but I am doing some custom work to him, so he's not finished yet. It, he does look a lot different, you know, with the painted in grill and painted in spoiler here. I mean, he's he's got some detail in his face too. I also got his little nodule up here painted, and his ears or whatever you could say they are painted with a little silver. I redid the speakers so that they shine a little bit more. <laughs> You know, I mean, basically, I just did a little work here and there. I don't have a lot of colors right now because I'm just kind of buying them bit by bit because I'm, you know, broke like the rest of the world. So, but uh, yeah, so far he's doing pretty good so far as far as customing. Uh, 
I'd never really customized Transformers. I mostly just painted Gundam action figures and Spider-Man and Superman models and stuff of, you know, comic book poses, and that's all I really did. So I eventually worked up the skill. I just never really do it very much because it takes a lot of time and effort. And I mean, this took a long time to just do this. It took about an hour just to paint the front part because you have to get the layers in and the color just right, and you don't want to hit the edges and make nasty globs of paint all over the place, you know. But, I mean, yeah, basically, it's Jazz. He's a pretty cool character. You can take the speakers off, clip them onto his gun, and make a giant blaster. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't like to display it like that because it looks really gangly for a gun. Uh, this does the trick, though. Um, another thing that someone told me is that you can have your G1 Jazz gun and his shoulder cannon device, and that will fit on him, apparently. So, I don't know. I never knew that. I wish I had my old G1 guns, because that would be fucking awesome. I'd love to put them on him. But, uh, yeah, he's a pretty good character. Pick him up for sure. He's a Reveal the Shield character. So far, I have them all but Perceptor, so hopefully I can find Perceptor soon and finish the Reveal the Shield set as far as the deluxe figures go. Um, but thanks for watching the review, guys. Just just a quick one about Jazz. Pretty sure, you know, there's really nothing that hasn't already been said about this guy that, you know, isn't true. So definitely pick him up for a character. He's a really good G1 RMS. He's the number four. So definitely, definitely pick him up. Uh, Gejo out, and I will uh, see you guys next time with another Transformers review.